Hello developers, welcome back to Epifile 11. This is a, a full stack Laravel VGS development JGL series. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. And in this video, we will learn middleware. Uh, if you have any question, go ahead in our Facebook group, uh, Development with Epifile 11. I will try to answer any of your queries. Uh, now let's go ahead and try to understand the middleware. Okay, so what is a middleware in the first place? If you go to the Laravel uh, documentation, you will see an introduction. So you will see, okay, middleware provide a convenient mechanism for filtering HTTP requests. So that means whatever you, uh, let's say we are requesting something, so it will come to, come here, then controller, then blade, and blah, blah, blah. So even if anything gets run, we will have middleware in place. So middleware will run first. And in that middleware, we, we, we can have a lot of checks like we had, uh, we have these checks in our controller method. So instead of having all these uh, checks in controller, we could have a middleware and even return, uh, even uh, return, even executing these uh, routes, okay? But I did not do it intentionally because I have only two routes uh, for uh, the any um, spa routes so that I, I have to do some checks to uh, redirect to the login page or other, other page. So yeah, I will have a middleware for all of our API routes so that no APIs is publicly accessible unless you are uh, authorized or authenticated users, okay? So I will group this API, uh, APIs now so I don't have to run all these things, uh, all this logic every time I, um, every time I uh, run, okay? So yeah, and here you can see uh, it is inefficient. Never ever do these things because you, you see I have done uh, re auth check two times. So then it's uh, really inefficient. You should save some uh, in some variable because you, if you think that you run a function more than one, so you just save this variable in one place. Okay. Uh, okay. Now let's go ahead. And middleware is really important because it filters your uh, user traffic, and you can do any logical condition here. Okay. So let's go ahead and try to do do a middleware and before even do the middleware we can do something you see we have app, app, app at the uh, at the beginning we could have admin in place so that we know okay these routes are for admin so what we can do here is that maybe we can do route dot prefix and the prefix can be app and then we can uh, uh, group all of them function and inside then inside we can have all of these routes uh, let's see if we have any error okay I think we have missed this one yeah we can uh, remove app now I forgot. Yeah, let's go ahead and check if uh, these things works. So let's return uh, around the category. Okay, we're getting an error. Invalid argument exception prefix does not exist. Uh, Let's see if I have done any mistake. Laravel prefix. Prefix, okay. Uh, I have done a spelling mistake. It should be called prefix. Prefix. Okay, it's working now. Okay, it's cool. It's working. Fine. And let's go ahead and create our middleware here. Um, let's okay, uh, create a middleware call admin check perfect so we should be able to get our middleware in HTTP middleware and then where the middleware is gone Let's check for admin check. Where this middleware has gone. App HTTP middleware. 
HTTP root uh, directory. So it should go under HTTP and middleware directory. And let's see if we need to do a refresh. Middleware created admin check. Let's do a refresh. Okay, I don't see any refresh option here. Let's actually close this project and reopen. I'm not sure where it's gone. Or maybe I have created in the wrong place. In Yeah, I think I created in the wrong uh, folder. So let's go ahead. And this is our project. And here, admin check. Here you go. We have admin check now. Yeah, here you go. We have admin check now. And here, before uh, before passing next uh, the, uh, the request to the next, we can have our own logics here. So what we can do is that we can make sure whether you are logged in or not. So first of all, we can say if okay if auth check. So first of all, we can say if auth not check, then we can return redirect to the login page or maybe uh, we can page you the login page instead okay so we will return you to the login page and uh, let's use this uh, middleware now mm. Uh, HTTP uh, this option assigning middleware to routes. Uh, here we go. We have old middleware. This is the middleware. So we can come here. And we can pass the middleware here, and we can pass this class directly, maybe. Yeah, they have, uh, yeah, this way, or you can uh, define it here, and then you can use like this. So let's go ahead and check instead of returning redirect, so return. Uh, not logged in. Let's see if it does return. And let's log out first. Uh, call to a member function middleware on null. Uh, middleware on null. Let's see if I have my spelling correctly done. This is the first thing I do. Mm, let's check. So it's not working. Let's do one thing. Let's not do anything here. So it's not the logic uh, as well. Let's do a quick search instead. doesn't return an object okay uh, I think this is how it should be uh, defined not needed here Okay, let's check now. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Um, let's check it out. Okay, now let's check it out. If uh, 
laravel.log do we have any log here let's do some logging yep here you go we have this logs and let's do some log here log dot info inside middleware okay so this middleware is not uh, running let's check out why it doesn't run uh, we have to pass an array maybe okay not still it doesn't get run mm. Ah, uh, okay I think I'm doing something wrong here because yeah we are accessing this one here and not any of this route so that is the problem right so yep I was doing the wrong thing here admin check doesn't exist target class okay so target class doesn't exist it says okay we have to import that class and yes simply because we are accessing this one we have to import that as well headers of non-object where this header is coming uh, maybe this one now let's go ahead here we go inside middleware okay so it's getting run and let's go ahead middleware can be defined in many ways I'm trying to do as quickly as possible so let's return let's see if we can return any uh, JSON data uh, from here let's say return a message I'm not sure if we have a message from middleware. Okay, we have a message. Okay, perfect. So we can send a response from here. That's perfect. So if auth not check, uh, what we can do is let's do our redirect instead. Return redirect uh, to login. Okay, so since the, they are the API routes, we don't uh, we don't need to uh, return uh, the redirect. So what we can do instead, we can simply return um, a message that okay uh, four zero two or four zero four. I don't know any message. Uh, you are not allowed to access this rod so here you go we can see we're not allowed to access this rod and if you are logged in then we can say okay user equal both user perfect so we can say if user dot user type equal user so if you are an user as well we could say the same thing for it you are not allowed to access otherwise we will let you go ahead okay so if you are not logged in we will say go ahead and log in with 502 and maybe we can send a custom message okay with the, with a different message right and if you are uh, a user trying to access uh, this uh, admin uh, route and if you are an user he will kick you out from the system right so guys we are kicking the user out if you want to logged in we are kicking the user if they are user and not the admin okay so this is how we are doing the access control okay and maybe we will do more stuff here if you are editor what you can do if you can if you are allowed to access this routes or not if you are um, 
editor or admin we will do these things later okay thank you guys for watching have a nice time